comparing two of the hottest soul food spots in Nashville, Tennessee to see which one is the best. First, like and subscribe. We just went to Bailey's and Kato's, which is one of the hottest soul food spots in Nashville, Tennessee. We got the chicken and dressing. dressing. I got ribs, turnip greens, candy dams, and hot water cornbread. And mm. we're going to try it all and rate it zero out of five forks, Amen. okay? This is my favorite thing to get from Bailey's and Kato's. It is the turkey and dressing. I thought it was chicken and dressing. My bad, chicken and dressing. We're going to try to raise zero out of five forks. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. Yeah, boy. All right, and this is my favorite thing to get from Bailey's and Kato's. It's the ribs, smoked ribs, turnip greens, candy yams, and hot water cornbread. His um, chicken and dressing came with hot water cornbread, too. This is it. Got the fingers in it. Hot water cornbread, okay, y'all? Um, so, we're going to try that. All right, so it's Justin starting to try the candy yams. How is it? That was good. They're so good. That was real good. Mm. All right, here's some of that rib. Just pulled a little bit of it off. And I'm going to try. Well, you want to try first? I go. I okay. Go. All right. Mmm. Just so smoky and meaty. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. I love their ribs. I get them every time. I've been coming here for years. I get that every time. So I'm going to give Justin a little bit. That is some good rib right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's some good rib right there. Mm -hmm. A little collard green on my fork. I'm going to try it. I mean, that's turtle greens, but it's delicious. All right, so now a Southern staple, the hot water cornbread. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of that rib juice. Okay, it's a little rib juice down here. Gotta submerge it, all right? Yes. From the South, I'm telling you, we're putting you on game. You get any type of turnip greens, anything, anything from a soul food spot, and it got juice left, and they give you bread, Put, you got to bread. soak it. See that, see that little juice right there? I'm telling you, if you're not like soaking that? it, you being disrespectful to the to, to, to everybody, mm -hmm. especially the people who made it, because you know what they doing, they soaking that mm -hmm. thing in there. Ooh, you took a big bite. Man. It's good. Like that. Mm. Next level. Mm. Well, since he's holding the plate, I'm going to feed him. All right, here comes the helicopter. Good job. That's good. That's good. A little turnip green, you know. A little succulent right there. Mm-hmm. Real succulent right there, though. Let's see what these uh, candy yams are talking about. The candy yams are like, they about to be that. divine. Delicious. At Bailey's and Kato's, Nashville, Tennessee. I've been going to Bailey's and Kato's for over 10 years now. It is so good. I get the ribs, turnip greens, candy DMs every single time. Yes, I've uh, I've only just recently started going to Bailey's and Kato's. Let me tell you something. I get upset every single time I come back to Nashville because I wish I would have tried it sooner. Yes, yeah, zero out of five forks for the ribs. I give them 4.5 forks. What about you, Justin? Oh, zero out of five forks for those ribs. I'm going to have to give them 4.5 forks as well. Only because... I was actually pretty skeptical of the ribs. I like ribs, but not that much. But Bellas and Kato's ribs, I'm all over them. Zero out of five forks for the turnip greens. I give those three forks. They needed some seasoning, maybe a little uh, ham in them. You know, just a little bit. Honest, understood. They definitely could have benefited from having a little bit of ham started up in that pot. But yeah, zero out of five forks for those turnip greens. I'm going to have to go ahead and give them a four. I'll give them a four. I give them three forks. Yeah, I'll give them a four. Zero out of five forks for the candied yams. I give those four forks. They could be sweeter, but they're so delicious and so nostalgic. What about you, Justin? I mean, best, based off my experience with them, they were almost perfect, technically. They were technically almost perfect. They, they tasted really great. They had that great texture. They were lumpy, not really all that mushy. And I loved everything about it, especially the smell that came from it. Exactly. Zero out of five forks for the whole experience. I'm going to have to give it a three. The customer service is horrible. Very stank attitudes, but that's kind of what you expect in spots like this. But it's just not right if you're working with the people. We could do a little better, you know, show Absolutely. each other some grace. But um, zero out of five forks for the whole experience. Justin, what would you give it? I probably had to give it a three. I give it a three, same as you, only because I feel the same as you feel. The customer service was not all the best. Um, even though you do have a bit of elders working in there, but I mean, still, you, that's something you expect from from a place that's just so well known has been going in for for a long time. But uh, still, food was amazing. Zero out of five forks for the chicken and dressing. Oh. I give it. 3.5 forks. I feel like that gravy is a little different from last time. What about you? Absolutely. I give it 2.8 forks. I'm here at Silver Sands in Nashville, Tennessee. This restaurant here, Silver Sands, has been open for 70 years, and Bailey's and Cato's has been open since when? They've been open since 2000. Yeah, so both these places are staples in the community. Silver Sands has been around longer. It looks more vintage as well. Justin, what did you get from Silver Sands? Silver Sands, I got their, um, what's it called, their pork chop, but it was smothered in, uh, in this nice, beautiful sauce. I had to take my hat off to it. It was amazing. It was like a gravy. It was, yeah, yeah. the gravy. Um, also had with their mac and cheese 
The mac and cheese was great. I mean, I mean, just look at it. It's just, it's just beautiful. And then when I bit into it, it was just, I mean, mouth watering, well seasoned. I taste the love in it. Next off, I had their um, potato their salad. potato salad. The potato salad was actually pretty good. It was some of the best potato salad I've ever had. And I've had some. I love potato salad. And yours also came with hot water cornbread. I got the catfish candied no sweet potatoes yep. and macaroni yep. and it was really good it i was. feel like the catfish could have had more seasoning but it was a thick filet and they gave you two of them exactly. and it was everything was piping hot for the mac i feel like it could have been more cheesier and the hot water cornbread could have been more seasoned also same thing with this spot the attitudes y'all like come on i i came in for some soul food not eye rolling exactly eye rolling and you could tell in that tone that was just either even if you're even if you're tired you still don't talk to people like that you know i mean the the presentation of the place was nice but also the presentation of some of the people especially the one that was actually talking to us uh most of the time the presentation of that person in themselves wasn't right and actually if you check both these places google reviews everybody loves the food but hates the customer service it's just so sad because these places are staples in nashville exactly but how long until you decide to just say i don't care about how good the food is because that customer service is so terrible. Exactly. You just and can't keep doing that to people. We also finished our meal with a sweet treat. It was a delicious peach cobbler. That peach cobbler was phenomenal. Well, oh my I gosh. I wouldn't say necessarily phenomenal. It was good. Would I get it again? Not necessarily. I absolutely would get it again. Okay. That peach cobbler was amazing. Well, let's go ahead and rate everything. We'll start with Justin's place. Zero out of five forks for the smothered pork chops. I'm going to give them three forks. Zero out of five forks for pork chops. I'm going to have to give those pork chops about 4.3 forks. Mm -hmm. I love them that much. They're really good. Zero out of five forks for your potato salad i'm gonna give that 3.5 forks that's i'm gonna have to give it 4.8 forks because that's some of the best potatoes i've had in a long time zero out of five forks for your mac and cheese i'm gonna give it three forks i'm gonna have to give it 3.8 forks because that was some really good mac and cheese zero out of five forks for my fried catfish i'm going to give it three forks i'm gonna have to give it four forks you had some really good you had some really good fish it was big and also you got two of them it needed seasoning and, well, I mean, I feel like it could it could stand for a little bit more seasoning, but for for what it for what it had, I mean, more is better. But what it had was okay. It was it was fine. I loved it. Zero out of five forks for my sweet potatoes. I'm gonna give those a four forks. They could have been higher, but they were just mushy, kind of like baby food. I wish they had more lumps in them, but they were perfectly sweet, y'all. Ooh, just like I like it. And I also had the macaroni, and I think I gave those four forks, three forks, right? I believe yeah, so, yeah. I feel like the mac could have been cheesier and a little bit more flavorful, but it was it was nice. It was baked mac. That cheese on the um, top was nice and golden. Oh, yeah, I love seeing yeah. that. I haven't seen that in a, in a while. Exactly. Since my grandmothers were making food, and they haven't made food in a while. Exactly. And this um, spot right here just has so much history again they've been around for 70 years yep. um, it's a really cool spot delicious food would I come would I recommend this spot uh, yes but I'd rather go to Bailey's and Kato's what about you Justin I mean I would definitely recommend this spot of course along with Bailey's and Kato's and I plan on going back to Silver Sands because they had a plethora of other uh, other food items that I would love to try um, especially after my first time experience but I want y'all to also know that once you come into Silver Sands or Bailey's and Kato's you're going to be hit with generational smells, because, I mean, mm -hmm. you could smell the cooking. It reminded me of my grandmother, God rest her soul, um, mm -hmm. whenever I came into her house, and I smelled her cooking already, and she already had a plate ready for me. And exactly. I was like, what? And very it was amazing. nostalgic Yeah, experience. very, very nostalgic, very homey. Yeah. You know, very homey. You can taste that in the food. You can. Um, it's just that attitude, though, is something that needs to be checked. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it was a great time. I love how they labeled the the boxes, so there was, like, no way. People was like, oh, that's mine. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. So, I, I very much appreciate it. Oh, the hot water cornbread. Zero out of five forks for the hot water cornbread from Silver Sands. I'm giving that two forks. Could have been more flavorful. As far as Bailey's and Kato's hot water cornbread, that gets four forks. It is so delicious. Okay, so hot water cornbread from Bays and Kato's. I'm going to have to give that one a 3.8. And then uh, 0 out of 5 forks for Silver Sands hot water cornbread. I'm going to give that a 2.8. Mm. You know, because it could stand to be a lot moist. I loved, you know. Uh, it needed seasoning. It did, lead, it did need a little bit of seasoning. Mm -hmm. It could stand a little bit of butter. But other than that, hey. That's how they do it. I just want mine to be a little bit more moist, you know, a little bit, little bit, little bit more moistness on my on my palate. I need a seasoning for me, but everything looks absolutely delicious. Zero out of five forks for the whole experience at Silver Sands. I'm gonna give it a three. It was the customer service that takes it down. The food was fine. It's just that customer service. It really just stinks when you go and you pay all this money, and you know you yeah. have to deal with things like that. Yeah, exactly.
Right. Look how thick that fish was. I mean, they don't do it like that in Washington. Ooh. Very thin pieces of fish out in Washington. Absolutely ridiculous. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.